Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the difference between copyrights and trademarks. If you're not sure what the difference between them are, this video is for you. Perhaps you're wondering if you should trademark or copyright your logo, business name, product line. This video is gonna answer the following questions. One, how are trademarks and copyrights different? Two, what can be trademarked and what can be copyrighted? And three, how should you approach copyrights and trademarks and what should you think about in terms of protect, protecting your logo, business name, and branding? Now, before we delve too deep into this topic, let me just say that at the end of this video, you will be able to choose what's best for you, whether it's a copyright or a trademark. And I have individual copyright and trademark videos that walk you through them separately in way more detail. So go ahead on and earmark those videos so you can watch them later after you finish watching this one. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. What is a trademark? Anything that identifies the source of a good or service. Think about it in terms of where does it come from? Who made it? Where does it originate from? For example, if I showed you this, would you know where this came from? Most of you guys knew as soon as you saw it what it was, and I'm not even showing you the logo for this, but you understand where the source of this box, this fry box came from. Or if I showed you these and I said, hey, where do you guys think I got these from, who made this? Hmm? Versus if I showed you these, and then it's kind of clear who made them, where the source is for this. And you'll notice I never showed you the logo for either of those goods, but I'm sure that you knew where I got them from, right? That's the power of the trademark. So it might be a logo, it might be a color, it might be a symbol, but it gives the brand recognition, right? I always tell people to flip these words, trademark and copyright. So let's flip the word trademark. It's the mark in the trade. There are classes of trades that businesses will fall under. So for example, you might have uh, clothing, footwear, headgear versus services for food and drinks. And you register your mark based on the applicable trade, which means that a cell phone repair company called In-N-Out is probably not gonna infringe on a burger company called In-N-Out. Two different trades, right? So now let's talk about what can be trademarked. This is the fun stuff. So I'm gonna give you a small list. Um, you have words, logos, symbols, colors, sounds, smells, slogans. Ooh. For a detailed list of what can be trademarked as well as examples of each, be sure to download the Trademark vs. Copyright 101 packet at the link below. It's 100% free and it will help you to better understand how to approach protecting your own branded assets so that you can be confident when you go into the marketplace and start making that shmoney. <laughs> Now, something that's very distinct about trademarks and copyrights is how they're obtained. Trademarks are filed via an application. They are not automatic. Now, why would you trademark these things, right? You trademark to eliminate confusion in the marketplace because your brand represents a certain company culture, set of values, a guarantee of quality, and cultural currency. So to protect other companies from trying to use your branding on their items or to intentionally or accidentally cause confusion about the source of a good or service, you create a trademark. And that's basically to say, look buddy, you are trying to reap the benefits of my company's authority in the marketplace to make more sales, that's not gonna fly. Uh, say for example, this box had a golden cue on it, not gonna fly, right? And it's to protect the consumer, really. Trademarks are to make sure that when people purchase, they're getting what they want, or getting what they thought. Now, if you guys found this video valuable, hit the like button so I know to make more content just like this. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post more videos. All right, now let's hop on over to copyright. What is a copyright? We're gonna do the same thing we did with trademark, flip the word. Right to copy, reproduce, alter, use, sell copies of, perform or display the work or artistic expression. This is about work product ownership. Think. Who maintains control as the rightful owner of this art? Trademark is about this source of goods and services and trademarks have to be filed. Copyrights do not have to be filed because they are automatically given to the artist or the creator of the work. All right, so let's break that down a little bit more. The copyright is to protect the creator. What can be copyrighted? Blogs, all right, so writers. Blogs, video, photos, photographers, music, slogans, songs, to name a few. This is not an exhaustive list. If you guys want more of what can and cannot be copyrighted or trademarked, be sure to get that download. But let's walk you through a hypothetical. 
you have a logo and you partner with an organization and maybe your logo is a lot like the McDonald's golden arch. It's always in gold and red. This organization you partner with turns your logo pink for breast cancer awareness without your permission. That's a copyright violation potentially. And if you want to know the way around this, be sure to watch, to watch my copyright video in this series.